Hello YouTube, this is Teach Me Computer and this is the fourth PHP tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the PHP syntax. We will be outputting just some simple text to the browser, but we're going to look at the fundamentals of the PHP syntax. So before we start this tutorial, you need to ensure that you have XAMPP installed and uh, just open up the control panel. You should find that in your start menu. And what you need to do right here, if Apache does not say running, you need to click the start button right here, just click start. You do not need to click MySQL because we're not using that for this tutorial. Okay, that now says running and I can test this by going to localhost in my browser. And if you remember in the area earlier tutorial we made a directory called tutorials. So that will now be in our web directory. So if I press enter, there we go. Not sure why that happened, but let me just there we go. Okay, so now we can begin writing our first, first PHP script. So every PHP script is enclosed in PHP tags and these tags tell the server when a PHP script will start and when it will end and it will allow the server to interpret all of the code inside of the tags as a PHP script. So to start a PHP script we simply have this pointy open bracket then we have a question mark and that's followed by PHP and that just tells the server that we're starting a PHP script and to follow that up to end our PHP script we just have a question mark and then uh, ending um, pointy bracket and you, you need this for the PHP scripts to work or they will not work they will be interpreted by the browser as just plain text so you need to wrap it in these tags or it will not work okay so now that we have our starting tag and ending tag we can just save this as a PHP file just click the save button and you need to find this directory right here the tutorials directory in htdocs if this d does not exist this folder just go to htdocs and then create this as a new folder and then you're good to go so just copy it paste it into file name and we can save it here I'm going to save it as test.php it's just a test and you'll now notice that the starting and closing tag have been highlighted. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to write our first little script that will output the text hello world to the browser. And we're going to use an output text function called echo. You can also use print, but I'm just going to, I prefer to use echo, you can use print or echo. So you, all you need to do is simply type echo and that will turn blue the echo function will output text inside the quotations that follow so what we need to do is hit the quotation mark button and then we need to type what we want to output and for this we're going to simply type hello world and when you finish typing what you want to output you just hit the quotation mark again and after that <coughs> this is one of the fund fundamentals of PHP Every every statement in PHP will end with a semicolon, so we need to put this semicolon at the end. <coughs> Excuse me. So when you write, uh, you know, if you wanted to do another echo down here, you need to put a semicolon after that. So if we save this now, and we go to for tutorials test.php, and you can see it, it just outputted hello world, and I can prove that you know this. PHP is not led it's not read sorry on a line by line basis it's read by statements so if I just take away this um, put a space here normally you'd think oh this will make it a world on a new line but if we present it I'm not sure why my chrome is messing up right now but you can see it doesn't change and what else we can do is inside of these tags we can embed HTML now don't worry if you don't know HTML then it doesn't really matter you can just google the codes that you want but this will you know make it nice and fancy for the user we're just going to put a break tag there and then we're going to write in bold this text is bold and we'll close the bold tag hit save and if we refresh that and you'll see right there this text is bold and you know that's just showing you that we can include um, html on there and you know if you want to be if you want to add just go to a new line, line sorry line like this just because it makes it neater you can because it won't make a difference we just f5 that again see it doesn't make a difference 
Um, yeah, that's how to write your first PHP script. So in summary, all PHP scripts must start with this opening tag and end with this closing tag. The echo function is used, it can be used in double quotations or single quotations, but I will talk about that in a later tutorial, so anybody who's worried about that, just I'll tell you about that in a further tutorial. But um, you can start it with double quotations and end it with double quotations and it must end with a semicolon. So thank you for watching this tutorial and if you have any questions just leave a comment on the video or send me a message. I will happily respond but you're more likely to get a response if you leave a comment and please click like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials.